going on, everybody? I'm Piers Dalton. And I'm Annie Champagne, and this is your Falcon 5 News. Reminder that next week is your last chance to have your picture in the yearbook, Wednesday, November 8th. Wednesday, November 8th is also the last day for senior portraits. Also next Wednesday, we honor our veterans with our Veterans Day program at 10 o'clock. We're also out of school November 10th for Veterans Day. Falcon Theater students will be competing in the District Trumbauer Competition on Saturday in Hartzell. Students will perform individual events and also present Graceland as their studio play. Let's all wish Mr. Kevin Wiesman a happy Principal Appreciation Month. Thank you for everything you do for our school. The Big Blue Marching Band has their final competition this Saturday at Desert High School. They will perform around 7 o'clock in the Coldwater Classic. Let's all wish them the best of luck. FFA is at their national convention in Indianapolis this week. Best of luck to all of those competing. FAFA dance students are in Chicago for college scholarship auditions. They will be auditioning at a scholarship fair with more than 40 colleges in attendance. Hopefully they will return to Alabama with lots of offers. Now on to Fresh Talk with Landry and Becca. Hey guys, welcome back to Fresh Talk. I'm Becca Beaver. And I'm Landry Kilpatrick, and here's what's going on at the Freshman Center. National French Week is coming up, and here are the fun days planned. November 2nd is the Only Speak French Day. November 6th is the French Scavenger Hunt, and November 7th is Dress French Day. And November 9th is Teach a Friend French Day. If you are interested in joining the, FC, the FFC Key Club, it will hold its first meeting Tuesday, November 7th in Mr. Grider's room. Become a member by completing the form in Canvas. So Landry, do you put your Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving? Not usually. Why? That's what Noah asked students this week at the FFC. <laughs> Do you prefer putting up your Christmas tree before or after Thanksgiving? Before. Why? It gets me in the spirit. <laughs> Thank you. After. Why? Because you still got to get ready for Thanksgiving. Thank you. Uh, before. Why? Because I think it's just like, like, it's obvious, like that's just something that you should do. All right. Thank you. Well, that's all for this week. I'm Landry Kilpatrick. And I'm Becca Beaver. Go Falcons! What's up, Falcons? I'm Caden Silly, your Falcon 5 weather for the week. This week, we'll begin with moderate temperatures and sunny skies on your Friday as you head into your weekend. Saturday will be the same as Friday, just warmer as the temperatures will increase into a more mid-70s, mid-40s look as you head into Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, it will be a little bit of a contrast to the previous two days as it will be um, mostly sunny with clouds in the mix while the temperatures will remain similar. As you head into the beginning of next school week on Monday, it will be partly cloudy with a 20% chance of precipitation. Lastly, on Tuesday, showers finally show themselves in this week's forecast as there will be some rain Tuesday morning to cool us off a bit before turning over to partly cloudy for the remainder of the day. The average high for the week is a progressively chillier 73 degrees, while the average low for the week is a brisk 47 degrees. Just remember to dress warmer as it should get continuously colder to begin the chilly month of November. That's a look at your Falcon 5 weather. Have an awesome week and go Falcons! What's up, Falcon fans? I'm Caden Sledge, and this is your Falcon 5 Sports. Big news for Falcon football. They played their last regular season game last Friday against Spartman and pulled out the big win with the final score being 36-17. This win led them to the first round of playoffs. They'll be traveling to take on Thompson next Thursday. Please, if you can, fill the student section and cheer them on. Zoe Martin is in the run for the Buffalo Wild Wings Player of the Week. Make sure you go and cast your vote. Last week, the Falcon Cross Country team competed in the Northwest Alabama Championship. The boys placed second and the girls placed third. Congratulations to you all. They were back at it yesterday for sectionals at Palmer Park in Madison. We will update you on this race next week. That's all I have this week for your Falcon 5 Sports. Make sure you check back next week for your latest athletic news. I'm Caden Sledge. Go Falcons. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brooke Williams. And I'm Kendall Kilpatrick. And welcome back to What's Poppin'. We hope that everybody had a safe and fun Halloween this year. Yes, I hope that it was filled with lots of candy and costumes. Speaking of costumes, let's talk about some of your favorite celebrities and what they dressed as. Starting with Adele, the famous singer dressed as Morticia Adams from the Adams Family for her Las Vegas show. Kendall Jenner from the Kardashian Family dressed as young and blonde Marilyn Monroe. 
and I Spice was seen just as cartoon character Betty Boop. All of those costumes are so good, for sure. On a more sad note, Friends TV show star Matthew Perry has passed away. He was found unresponsive at home last weekend. I heard about that. It's sad, and I love the show and the cast, and it certainly won't be the same without him. All the Mean Girls fans out there are going to be happy with this news. The cast of the popular movie Mean Girls reunited to make a commercial for the upcoming holidays. I love that movie, and it's cool seeing them play their roles again. Me too. Well, that's all for this week. I'm Brooke Williams. And I'm Kendall Kilpatrick, and this is What's Poppin'. That's all we got for this week. I'm Pierce Dalton. And I'm Annie Champagne. Go, Go Falcons! Falcons.